Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to Audio Tips. Uh, in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys uh, an important lesson inside GarageBand. It's basically uh, how to open your controls to each of your, your tracks that you have inside your session. So basically, if I click on um, Juicy Pump Bass Track, I'm going to go up here to the knob beside the scissors. It's going to look like a, <clears throat> like a panning knob. It's called Smart Controls. I'm going to click on it. And it's going to take me right to the controls of Juicy Pump Bass. Now, uh, I don't really like this about GarageBand, but it doesn't have a mixing screen where you can actually mix with faders and stuff like that. It, it takes you to this, and this is basically your mixing screen, uh, the control screen. So uh, basically, you mix it through this screen. You cut you got your cut off, you got your filters, you got your pulse rate. Uh, you can fool around with it and, uh, and add effects to it by using flanger, uh, flanger ambience, delay and reverb and all that stuff. Um, uh, uh, it's quite brief. Uh, basically go into it and fool around with it for yourself. Uh, and that's the best way to learn it. Uh, it's a very quick lesson guys. Um, I hope you guys learned something new and, I, ho and uh, I hope you guys use it in the future and it benefits you. If you guys have any further questions, let me know. I'll help you guys out as best as I can. But thank you guys for watching my video and please subscribe.